Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And we're here today at the Woodbridge Community Center on a beautiful Sunday morning in the sun for uh, Hollywood cars parked all over our parking lot. We have behind us to our left there, that is the Ghostbusters car. Next to that is the uh, DeLorean from Back to the Future. Right behind me it says Sox and Martin. I have no idea which one that is. Right there is the famous Batmobile. Over there we have the Monkey Mobile. We have another uh, Batmobile from the movie series. We have the Scooby Van. Over there we have the, uh, what's that called? General, um, oh, something for uh, Dukes of Hazard. General Lee, General Lee from Dukes of Hazard. So it's a fun time. There's a whole bunch of people out here. It's free. It's one of those things that we like to just do for the heck of it. Uh, Naveen Ragib, who works in our recreation department under our recreation department director, Vito Samluka, has done a great job of putting this all together. Uh, if you're watching this, it's too late to come down today, but certainly keep an eye on your Woodbridge newsletter or the town website or our Facebook pages and find out what's going on. But it's a great day. And once again, I want to thank our recreation department, in particular Naveen Ragib, for the job she's done putting this together today. Thanks for watching. We'll take you on a little tour, and you can see all the cars. Okay, I'm here now with Eric Sellen, who owns, owns all these great cars, and we're standing in front of the uh, Batmobile from Batman Returns. And first of all, tell me what possessed you to get involved in this field? <laughs> well, you know what? As a kid, I always had a love for movies and for movie cars. And unfortunately, years back, my father passed away, and I always wanted to find a way to pay it forward. So I love bringing the cars out and watching the kids and even the adults' expressions. Oh, yeah. Just wowed by, wow, I can't believe I saw that in a movie, now it's right here with me. So what was your first car you got? Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. The Scooby machine. Uh, now, this one has a special story because you just got this last night. We did. We picked it up from Michigan from one of the producers. We brought it back in hopes that it would be back in time for the show. And so, again, it's the first reveal here at Woodbridge for the reveal of the Tumblr. So do you own them all or do you just lease them or do you just people let you borrow them? What's the deal? No, no, we own them. You own them all? Yeah. Okay, well, no, tell us what we got here. We got behind us the Scooby-Doo, we have Scooby Batman. The Batman Tumblr. We have the Monkey's car from the TV show The Monkey's. The iconic 66 Batmobile. We have the Sox and Martin race car. What is that from? It's one of what I didn't know. What is that one? It's actually just a race team that was very popular during the 50s oh, and 60s. Oh, okay, okay. We also have the Back to the Future DeLorean. Yeah, And, of cool. course, the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters right, 2. Right, right, and General, uh, the General Lee. General Lee, yeah, he's right out there with everybody. So, All right, cool. Fan favorite. Tell me what kind of a logistical nightmare is it to get the, <laughs> get the trucks, the cars, from one place to the next? You know what it is? The fun of it is getting to the show and you see us not sweating on the way here. People, when we bring open trailers, people wanted to stop us and take pictures. Oh, yeah? And they're just lining up. So we were here at about 8 o'clock this morning getting ready for an 11 o'clock start. So but somebody so will say, hey, Mommy, Daddy, there's the monkeys. Oh, yeah. Well, and the they, kids won't even know who the monkeys are, but... Well, it just looks cool. They'll say, what's that? <laughs> they do. But you know what the funny part is? That they actually do know what it is because of the movie Shrek. A lot of the monkey songs oh, made okay, it very relevant okay, again. Gotcha. So what's old is new again. Uh, of course, the Batmobile. I mean, I grew up with the Batmobile. Oh, yeah. That's iconic. Young, old. Everybody loves yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thanks very much for coming here to Woodbridge. It's a great show. we got a lot of kids out here. It's, the place is packed. So uh, we appreciate oh. you coming out. We'll do it again. Thanks for having us. And thanks, Mother Nature. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Day. We haven't had that many good uh, days in April, but this is one of them. She's shining on us. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, Mayor. All right. Thank you. Naveen from Woodbridge Township Recreation Department. Welcome to the Hollywood Car Show. With me today, I have Paul from the Toy Room. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, your products? Uh, well, we have toys from the 30s on up until uh, present. We do custom Legos. We also make custom toys. Uh, we carry everything from Star Wars, uh, Lego, Indiana Jones, Transformers, G.I. Joe. Um, older games from the 50s and 60s. All the stuff was cool when we were kids that the kids don't have anymore. So it helps parents and kids, you know, really enjoy, uh, you know, being together, you know? So that's what we pride ourselves in. Uh, parents come and they see stuff and they're like, oh, I had that, and then they'll, they'll experience their childhood with their children. So we really enjoy that. That's good. So what do you think? What's your favorite car? My favorite car? I love the Tumblr, but if I had to go with anything, it'd be the 66 Batmobile. They're all fantastic. Every single one is fantastic, but if I had to, I'd have to go with the 66 Batmobile. We do this event every time Naveen has one. She does a great job putting it together for the community. Every time she does an event, each time she does it, more and more people are coming out. It's turning into a fantastic uh, 
uh, tradition. Actually, it, we make it one of our traditions. As soon as she calls, we're here because she does such a great job. So I really would like to thank you for letting us participate. Thank you. Hi, this is Talent World Music, and I have with me... My name is Karen Fetter. I'm one of the teachers. Okay. Thank you for sponsoring the event. We really appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about Talent World. Um, well, we do uh, music lessons on uh, keyboard as well as drums, guitar, uh, a number of different instruments. And um, we're kind of all over New Jersey, um, kids, adults, everybody. Okay. Is there a certain age? Um, well, we have a kinder music program for the little kids, but we all we go all the way up. Yeah. To adults. Okay. So tell me, do you have a favorite car? Uh, Scooby Doo car is pretty cool. I used to watch that as a little kid. So. Good. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for your sponsorship. Hi, this is Manny from International Martial Arts School here in Woodbridge. And um, why don't you tell me a little bit about your, the school? Well, our school is named International Martial Arts. We're located at 54 Cutters Dock Road. You're more than welcome to come by to take a free trial. The style we teach is Taekwondo, so we teach all ages from two and a half all the way to adult. So you could come by anytime you want. Well, I would like to thank you for your sponsorship. And um, which is your favorite car? My favorite car, I think, is uh, Batmobile over there. The uh, Tumblr? Yes. That is awesome. Very nice. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I have Eric Silling from DeLorean Entertainment, and he's just going to go through each car with us and give us the history about it. So, Eric, give me some details about these cars. <laughs> we spend lots of time usually getting these from the movie studios. The one we're in front of here is the Ecto-1A, originally used in the movie Ghostbusters 2. And last year we were actually on tour with Ernie Hudson for the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters. And it's also been signed by Dan Aykroyd and Sigourney Weaver. So we do a lot of different shows with a lot of different people, but this one's starting us off iconic as they all are. Okay, so this is Marty McFly. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about your car? <laughs> My, well, <laughs> so I pretty much just come with this Back to Future DeLorean car. Um, every time I kick it to 88 miles per hour, I go back to the future or back in time. This gentleman right here, actually, he owns the car. So um, Matt is the country's number one Michael J. Fox look-alike. We bring him out to Comic-Con events. We bring him out to a lot of fundraisers. And here to Woodbridge, uh, the car has been signed by Chris Lloyd. We've worked with the uh, different members of the cast from Back to the Future 1 and 2. And we just have a great time with it. Again, another iconic car. And believe it or not, the car in the movie, originally in the script, was written to be a refrigerator. Imagine that. <laughs> We'd all be trying to find a refrigerator to fix up if it wasn't for this great DeLorean. And you know what? When you bring someone that looks this much like Michael J. Fox to an event, it's a no-brainer. It's a home run every time. Did you bring your skateboard? No, I forgot it. Oh. I forgot it in the future. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, so give me the scoop about this car. This is a replica of Sox and Martin, which was a very world popular race team, and they had a lot of Mopars. When I say Mopar, that refers to Plymouth uh, Chrysler products, and this was one of their big favorite ones in 1968. It is a Roadrunner. They were also very popular for doing the Barracuda, but this is a beautiful rendition of what the car looked like, obviously, before it was raced around the track and a little beat up. But again, this is a favorite favorite for the race fans, so we wanted to bring something for everybody today. Okay, one of my favorites. Tell me about this car. This is probably the piece de la restance. This is the cars of cars. Again, back in 1965 when they started the series, there weren't a lot of cars that you saw on TV that were recognizable. So this became kind of the forefront for all custom car makers and builders like George Barris who created this one. So again, a beautiful rendition of the original 66 Batmobile, this, the TV show that launched Adam West and Burt Ward to stardom. And guess what? On a day like today, this beautiful black car shines probably better than the original did so again enjoy this one probably the most iconic car here most recognizable car here the 1966 Batmobile Okay, so we're in a monkey's car. Tell me about this one. Well, this again, another TV 
show car built by George Barris, the same gentleman who built the Batmobile. This was, again, probably one of the early 60s TV show favorites with the TV show, The Monkees. They had great, great hits like Wake Up Sleepy Jean and I'm a Believer, actually used again in the movie Shrek. So the young kids still know the music. And this car was a 1966 GTO that was converted into this stretched, beautiful car. And again, when you take the picture and see this thing, the paint job, unbelievable. The motor, every detail is just beautiful. All right, one of the ultimate favorite of mine. Tell me about this car. This is from Batman Returns. This is called the Tumbler, a complete custom. And we just got it here this morning, all the way from Michigan to make sure we had it for this event. This will be touring with us now for the rest of the year and probably into next year. But again, iconic Batman fan favorite. Again, you don't see this one very often. So when this shows up, it's a party all day long. Wow. Okay, I'm in the time machine, a Scooby-Doo car. Tell me about this one. This is also one of those iconic uh, cartoon cars that you don't see very often. And when you do, this one all decked out with the TVs and all the great uh, swag that goes along with being Scooby-Doo. But we love bringing that. This is obviously a kid favorite. I watched it when I was a kid, and not that I'm saying that old, but it's still relevant and popular today. So if you Scooby-Doo fans, all I have to say is, Zoinks, Scoob! <laughs> This is DJ. DJ Gary. Gary Morton. Right. And um, he does a lot of our events here in Woodbridge Township. So tell me, Gary, what's your favorite car? Well, we're standing right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved this. In fact, I asked for it. I just found out that it's all custom made. I thought it was made like from a specific car, but it's all custom made and this is outrageous. I love it. Have you ever been to an event like this? No, this is the first time. And it's wonderful. We were blessed with a beautiful day today. I know. And you see, you right, we're seeing all the great cars out here. And I uh, just hope everybody comes on out and appreciates what Woodbridge Township is doing here. Hi, I have Mike Sr. Mike Sr. And Mike Jr. Yep. So tell me, what brought you here today? Um, I was uh, at Starbucks and I saw a flyer and I was like, hey, I'll go because I really like movies. So <laughs> it's like my uh, fantasy kind of. What's your favorite car? Uh, the Dark Knight Batmobile because I love the uh, Dark Knight movies. I thought they were really well, so I think that was pretty cool. Have you been to an event like this before? Uh, no, I have not actually. I've wanted to but never got the chance to. Well, thank you for coming down. We appreciate it. I have Paul here from the toy room again, and he brought one of his toys with him. Tell us a little bit about this car. Well, it's a 2014 uh, Toyota FJ Cruiser. Um, they're no longer selling them in the States. Uh, my grandfather was a World War II Army tank commander, so in honor of him, I decked it out like a World War II Army tank. Um, almost everything that is here is from World War II radios, shovels, uh, mess kits, uh, even some postcards, field glasses, um, and I just like to, I'm very patriotic and I'd like to honor those who served the country, so it's my way of honoring those who served. I have Rich here, he brought one of his toys down, so tell me about this Dukes of Hazzard car. Uh, I have the car now about five years. When I got it, it was, uh, it was in pretty rough shape. So we took the body off the car and we put a new body on it. We had it painted like the Dukes of Hazard, and we take it everywhere we go. We enjoy it. Hi guys. So tell me, which car is your favorite? The Generally. Generally? Generally. Generally. Wow. So tell me your names. Kylie. Holly. Luke. Do you have another favorite car here? Um. Do you like the Scooby-Doo? Yeah. Yeah? Did you visit the Scooby-Doo? Yeah? Which one is your favorite? I like the Back in Time one. Wow. How about you? Batman the Dark Knight. Wow. Nice. Well, thank you for coming down, guys. Yeah, are you having fun? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is Cynthia from Empanada Lady. She came here to... Uh, be with us in the event. So tell us a little bit about you. Um, well, hi, I'm Cindy, the Empanada Lady. Uh, just a little bit about myself. Well, I'm Dominican and uh, our stuff is a little traditional, but we also have uh, some trendier, funkier stuff like the pulled pork and the uh, the very um, 
famous uh, vegetarian kale with the sweet plantains and white cheese. I think that's one of your favorites. And of course, the, uh, the traditional beef and potato and chicken and potato are outstanding. We, uh, we do a lot of community events. Yeah, you do come to a lot of yes. events. Right, and Woodbridge has opened their doors to me and I love it. And, uh, and the community center here in Woodbridge uh, do a lot, of, uh, a lot of events and we're always here. Try to, try to support the community. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. For Thank you. Have you ever been to an event like this? Uh, no, not like this. I've never done uh, uh, the uh, these funky cars. <laughs> never done it. It's so awesome. He loves it. My boyfriend is a car fan, so he's in heaven today. That's for sure. Do you have a favorite car? Uh, well, if they had a super uh, Wonder Woman car, I'll be fine. I'll be, that's the one I like. But uh, I think that 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 hot rod looking thing over there. The Dukes of Hazards. The Dukes of there. The Dukes of Hazards. That's awesome. I like that. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you, Naveen. Thank you for having us. Okay, so if empanada is not your thing, we have so much other food here. We have falafel, chicken fingers, fries, sausage, kebabs. We have everything for everybody. Okay, this is one of my favorite stops, the ice cream and ices. This is Maglione. Yes. Tell me um, how you like this event. Have you been to an event like this? No, I haven't. And I took a picture of every single car and put it on Facebook. And I have people from all over the country saying that is really cool, especially when they see monkeys and um, things from my generation. Well, thank you for coming. Very good. It's beautiful. Thank you. This is Will. Will, tell me a little bit about what you have here. Uh, well, I am basically a sketch artist, and what I do is I create sketches for customers based on characters that they like. Um, I can either do it on an art board or on a comic book sketch cover. And what I'm doing today is I'm actually zombifying people. Wow, very nice. So tell me, what is your favorite car? My favorite car is the Batman Tumbler. <laughs> nice, nice. As you can see. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. No problem. Thank you for having me.